Hello, this is Eileen, the environmental educator, and uh, this video we're gonna have another Friday funny <laughs> because with the state of things in the world, um, you just have to laugh, a and that includes um, you know the state of things with um, our, our friend here. Uh, yes, <laughs> the the head of Project Veritas, Mister Mister O'Keefe, who loves his uh, disposable lunches. And maybe that's why he doesn't care about the environment. But, um, you know, if you've been watching my videos, you know that Project Veritas won't expose every environmental voice since November 93 who refuses to give the world the light year's best environmental education and agenda uh, the world needs. And that is everybody you could think of. But, you know, Project Veritas, um, th this man right here, he, he says a lot of fraudulent things. Uh, there's many videos I've done about it. I'm going to put them all together in a, um, a, a video for a judge because we're going to be talking to a judge about this soon. But, you know, they expose everyone. He would never say anything that he wouldn't stand behind. If you want a statement from him, just call. You know, they have no agenda. They, you know, on and on and on. I don't want to rehash that out here, but right now th there was an interesting article. Well, let's let's get to this here. I, I think I found if James O'Keefe actually ever responded, like he says, "Hey, hey, if, if you want a statement from me, just just come and get one." <laughs> okay, um, th this is what James O'Keefe would say if he actually ever responded to all of the fraudulent statements. And how do you know I'm right when I say they make fraudulent statements? Because no matter how much Project Veritas lawyers go out and demand that everyone who says something wrong about Project Veritas retract it, I beg them to make me retract it, and they don't because they can't. So this is what James O'Keefe would sound like. Is this unprecedented to arrest a former president for not well, I turning in documents? Well, I'm a former president that had committed this many provable criminal acts. But what are the provable criminal acts, I guess? <sighs> provable criminal acts. Well, right, I'm just, I, I, I'm done talking. <laughs> okay. Okay. That, that, that is, um... That is this man there, if if he ever would actually pick up the phone and respond to all of the fraudulent statements he makes. You know, this is a man who chases people down on the streets and demands that people answer to him. <laughs> you know, I don't just say he's fraudulent. I say he considers himself God and Project Veritas lawyers don't make me stop that either. Why? Uh, mainly because they can't. Uh, James O'Keefe has decided the world answers to him, but if you ask him, in accordance with him saying, hey, just come and ask me, I'll give you a statement, uh, James O'Keefe and Project Veritas are silent, silent, silent for years and years and years. And it basically comes down to that this. had committed this many provable criminal acts. But what are the provable criminal acts, I guess? <sighs> provable criminal acts. Well, all right, I'm just, I, I, I'm done talking. <laughs> is this unprecedented? <laughs> I mean, that is, that is this right here. Okay. And that is James O'Keefe. Now, another interesting um, tidbit came up. This was on August 8th. Um, an ex-employee sued Project Veritas uh, for underpayment in a sexually hostile culture, which uh, O'Keefe says she's just a disgruntled employee uh, right here. <laughs> O'Keefe described Zapier as a disgruntled former employee and uh, called her claims a range of made-up falsehoods. Now, he's not going to be able to say that to a judge about me saying all of his statements about what how he describes and promotes Project Veritas and him are. They are not made up falsehoods. 
it's his fraudulent statements that are. But um, so she worked, uh, this person, she worked um, for two and a half years as an administrative assistant. She, you know, made some allegations that um, it was a highly sexualized workplace, a sexually hostile work environment where uh, Project Veritas failed to pay them um, for hours. They worked overtime and, and where um, drinking on the job and drug use during the workday and nights was rampant. That is according to this person, uh, Zapier who right here, and Tonietta Zapier, <laughs> she, she with two other people, um, Nick Jaioa and Dan Shuey filed this lawsuit against um, Project Veritas. And so, uh, you know, who knows what, what goes on there. Um, but these, these are the allegations that, that are made in, in court. I don't know, being a place where they have undercover cameras, maybe they have evidence to present in court. And certainly, you know, if you're filling out time cards, as they said, with massive amount of overtime that you're not being paid for, um, you know, that that's kind of pretty provable. But uh, sometimes they worked even as much as 60 hours a week. <laughs> and, and she... Um, uh, she even tolerated being woken out of bed by work phone calls and driving to headquarters on no notice at night in her pajamas in order to bring O'Keefe copy of his key, apartment key, since he frequently lost his keys. <laughs> uh, seeking $7 million in emotional and punitive damages. Now, the interesting thing um, about this article is um, right here in environmentaleducator.org. Now I've gotten some um, really unprofessional replies, these texts, these voice messages, um, especially this one, very unprofessional language, just insulting me. And, um, you know, the way James O'Keefe is out, is Charlie Chester still employed? You know, asking Charlie, asking his co-workers. I mean, that happened months ago. He, uh, a couple of weeks ago, he was still asking somebody at CNN, is Charlie Chester still employed for what? Talking to a hidden camera? When this person intentionally left this message on behalf of Project Veritas? Like, I don't know anyone who would be employed after leaving this message. Okay, now I never asked for this person to be fired. I just asked their status who they are, and if they're employed or not. And, of course, being that James O'Keefe does not respond, regardless of his um, fraudulent statements, that <laughs> just ask me, um, it says the official reason for her team termination was a sarcastic voicemail she left a caller about a year prior, which was dug up by uh, the person who she said was making sexual advances uh, about his investigation department. So you have to wait an entire year to be fired for an inappropriate voice message at Project Veritas? <laughs> they dig it up after you complain about being sexually harassed, allegedly. But, I mean, this was her termination, and they said about a year ago, well, uh, you know, I, I know that I can't believe anything that Project Veritas says about Project Veritas. So. Is this the person that left me this absolutely? You can play it. I, I can't play this on ear here. Um, it, it's in videos, bleeped out. But you can play it right here. And this was in March of 2022 uh, when she got fired. So is this what they do all the time? And then, you know... A year from now, if they decide they get mad at you, they, they fire you for it because they dig it up. Uh, I mean, has this person been doing this for a long time? I, I guarantee you the content of this message here is, is not sarcastic. It is insulting. It is degrading. It is taunting. You know, I am the queen of sarcasm, okay? I I am witty in the moment, witty. I I, I know sarcasm, and this message was not sarcasm. But that's very interesting that it came about here. And this really, truly, 
is what, um, you know, James O'Keefe would say if he ever had an answer. So what are the provable criminal acts, I guess? <sighs> provable criminal acts. Well, all right, I'm just, I, I, <clears throat> I'm done talking. <laughs> is this unprecedented? It's just done talking. And you know what? O'Keefe is done talking before he picks up the phone because he won't even pick up the phone. He won't go in front of a microphone and answer about all of his fraudulent statements, which is why I have to bring him in front of a judge. And um, But this is just really truly what, what it would be if James O'Keefe didn't answer. Oh, done talking to you. And, and what did he just say in two videos lately? Oh, hey, you won't even answer me? That must mean it's pretty bad. Well, you know what, O'Keefe? It is pretty bad. And that's why we're going to have to go to a judge to talk about this. But being that it's Friday, we're just going to have a laugh about this, that that is exactly the equivalent of James O'Keefe. Oh, I'm just not going to talk about it if I can't answer to every fraudulent thing that I do. So stay tuned, people.